Chemming. And looking at the men's singles draw. Well, how good to see the young left hand of the 19 year old Momoto from Japan through to his first ever Super Series semi final. as far as the Super Series road to Malaysia is concerned. Li Chong Wei, world number one, quite firmly at the top. He's played eight tournaments, reached semi seven finals, winning five of them, and so sadly wasn't able to compete here. And, but of course, the big mover after the last tournament was Tanon Sak Sansom Boon Sak from Thailand. Went up four places to number six after two semi-finals in Europe. Uh, that uh, the list in the race to the Super Series finals. And we await the arrival of the two Chinese men's singles players for the final here in China. Chen Long not only hold up, he's won the title twice because he won it also in 2010. 2011, he was beaten in the final by Lin Dan. So now, Chen Long, the number two seed, today is competing in his fourth consecutive China Open final. medalist, the defending champion, the 24-year-old from Fujian. His opponents not seeded here at the China Open. Both players throwing mementos to a lucky fan in the crowd. Hakan Fosto of Sweden will be our umpire for this match. Very, very experienced umpire indeed. Well, Chen Long has quite obviously said he wants to start this near side of the court as we look down. For Chen Long, well, not only his fourth consecutive final here at the China Open, this his fifth final this year, having played at only nine tournaments. This is his ninth tournament. So Wang Chiming, whose world ranking has gone up one place this last week to number nine, which is just one place below his highest ever ranking of eight. But Chen Long, as I say, 24 years of age. win-loss record for the year, as I was saying, translates into eight previous tournaments, four finals, having won three of them. Oh my goodness me, look at that, hasn't he been impressive so far? Qualifier, Sun Wan Ho, who was runner-up in the China Masters tournament, Super Series tournament, in the second round quarter-final. Well, his opponent Liu Daran had to retire injured in the second game and Chong Wei Feng, a repeat of last year's semi-final, went down in two straight as well. So to the 23-year-old from Guangdong province, Wang Sheming, a 
as I say, up one place in the world ranking. His win-loss record for the year. This is his fourth final in his 14th tournament. Two titles. His first ever Super Series title was the China Masters. He's reached the final of the East Asian Games, lost out to Du Peng Yu in the final as well. Now, that's not a ranking tournament, so that won't count towards his career win-loss record. This is the fifth meeting between the two players, and the last time they met was in this final a year ago. Two straight games, as you can see, 12 months ago. And there is Du Peng Yu, who beat Wang Xiaoming for the gold medal at the East Asia Games. Now, Chen Long appears to be wearing Ladies and gentlemen, a support right, on his elbow that he wasn't wearing China. yesterday. My left, Wang Yichengming, China. Wang Yichengming to serve. Now all play. So the unseeded Wang Yichengming, far side of the court against the defending champion and two-time winner. Chen Long. And not only has Wang Chiming never beaten his opponent of today, only once has he taken a game. The very first meeting they had went the full distance. Playing this whole tournament, there's their coach, Sha Xuan Zhe. Chen Long playing this whole tournament without having to play against a seeded player opponent. Yeah. Very different for this man, Wang Zheming. Beat the number five seed Tommy Sugiato in the second round, the number three seed Du Peng Yu in the quarter final, and then in the semi final against the former world junior champion, Kento Momota. Three games needed late last night. It was the last match on, an hour and three minutes to come on strongly in the third, 21-6. There's no doubt, Jim, in my mind, this man has improved. The younger of the two, Wang Xiaoming. But has he improved enough? Enough, yeah, <laughs> I think the same thing. Has he improved enough? Um, that's, that's to be seen as, you know, There's good things and bad things about the, the way they head to the final, you know, to see his, uh, Wang Chiming has been in some battles where it's been up and down, um, so you can maybe play a little bit more loose, uh, where Chen Long hasn't really been forced yet, he hasn't been out where he really had to dig uh, deep. I know he had a really long match, there was only two sets, but the, the score wasn't that close. Um, Three, Against Sun Wan Ho, yeah. second round. But the score wasn't close, so he hasn't been there where you know that. No, it's reasonable, 19 and 16. But 57 minutes from that, there was some yeah, that's long a <laughs> That's a long two sets. Yeah. Um, so you can see, maybe maybe this is the day where, where Wang uh, steps up. from Chen. Two. Good start. 
behalf of Wang Jimin. Wang Jimin, number 11 on the Super Series list. And if he wants to qualify for the Super Series finals, I suspect he needs to win this and do well next week as well. I don't think Chen Long really has any chance, does he, of reaching the Super Series finals. He's gone down four places after the French, which he missed, down to 17. No, I well, can't see that happening. No, we'd need the calculators out, wouldn't yeah. we, to yeah. calculate the points, but you never know. Which is, which is not a good thing. It's, uh, yeah, because at the moment, after the last Super Series event, not one single Chinese player in the top ten on the road to Malaysia. Uh, they can't be satisfied with that. No. It is one of the absolute biggest events. is out there, we know Lin Dan is out there as well, he's definitely not going to go. <laughs> um, so that will be, uh, of course, but Chin Long is just, you know, up there. And then. It's also disappointing that Chen Long is the world number two. Up until this tournament had only played five of the ten Super Series. Yeah, that is disappointing. And, and you can see the Super Series finals is the big the grand finale, if you can say that. In all other sports, when you have... Mm. Yeah, you build up to the ATP Tour ATP finals. Tour, you, sh you couldn't picture Federer not being in that, uh, yeah. Nadal or Djokovic, so... Yeah. Um, which yeah. is a very big tournament for them, and it's the same in Babington, so... So, so far, six, four. Disappointing. Oh, that's a good shot by Wang. England champion, of course, Chen Long. Beat Li Chong Wei in the final in March earlier this year. Lost in the World Championships to the eventual gold medalist, Lin Dan, of course. That's okay, a lot of people lost to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That doesn't go down as a disappointment. No, but it's it's surprising to me that Six, Chen seven. Long, we know that we've seen him in the Olympic Games where he won the bronze medal. He, he's a big match player. Mm -hmm. he, he wins all England titles, things like yeah. that, which to us old-fashioned badminton players is the tournament to win as far as the Super Series is concerned, whether that's, uh, it has the oldest to, to tradition. Some degree. Yeah. Yep. And yet in the World Championships, he's never really excelled, has he? No. Because, of course, in London, lost in the very first round to Kevin Corden of Guatemala. Yeah. And that was probably the most extraordinary result in the history of uh, World Championship badminton. Yeah, and you can see he's, he's 24 now. Yeah. And a lot of former Chinese singles players by the age of 24, already has a gold medal. Mm. 
and um, he's, he's just born into a, <laughs> what can you say, a little bit unlucky circumstances there. That's just a guy that's pretty much taken all the, the medals for him. And of course, Lee Ching Wei. But I also think he needs to, you know, we know what Chen Long comes with when he plays. I, I, I still think he needs to develop some more. I, I would like to see him be more aggressive. Um, you would more, like to? Yeah, more attacking. Yeah, yeah me too. Um, Oh, maybe not. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe no, that's I mean why he's not attacking. No, we we can all make mistakes at times. Yeah. I don't see that as a, you know, that error there as a problem. But I do wonder, with the Chinese singles coach Xia Xuanzhe, who of course was world champion in men's singles in 2003. Now his style of play was very much as a runner. Yeah. And I wonder if his influence over the current crop of Chinese players. Now, there's an attacking shot. Oh, yeah, if you look for something, he's got the skills, he's, he's got the power, Eight, there's no doubt nine. about it. And yet, we don't see enough of him commanding the rallies, I don't think. If purely from a fan's point of view that I love seeing explosive, dynamic, exciting yeah. play. Yeah, and you can say that in, in the in the games that he's lost, where it's been the Olympics and the World Championships, well, that's probably maybe what he needed. Yeah. More attacking style. Yeah. We've seen the Li Lin Dan and we've seen Li Chung Wei when they've really needed it. They, they've been able to come up with this attacking style yeah. where they got, and again, it's not easy point, but quicker points yeah. of the attack. Yeah. You, if you have to work like Chen Long has sometimes have to do for, for the start of a tournament to the, to, the, to the finish, then that's difficult. Where a guy like then, especially Ji Chen Wei, when they play opponents, they're not supposed to play long rallies when they don't do it. Oh, read that well. Uh, it's the second time now he's read. The shot to the to the net from Jin Long, where he's been forced to the back. So it is the unseeded player. Last year's beaten finalist who has the one point advantage over last year's champion. Say, uh, Wang Ximing looks looks solid. 
He looks more like he believes in this than we've seen him before. said he looks solid. I gave you a little quizzical look, didn't I? <laughs> and then you explained yourself about his style of play, because I actually think, not only does he look that he believes in himself, I think he looks a leaner athlete. Yeah, I he think he's, he's looking fitter and trimmer and leaner and hungrier for success. Yeah. side where he has to drift with him. Haven't really been able to find the back cord yet. Oh, it's landed in. Oh, good. I don't agree on that call, and well. I'm sitting straight where it is. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, well. Really need to see that again. Well, come the Super Series finals, we will be able to see it again. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure we will, but the <laughs> umpire or the referee of the tournament will be able to see it again when, if there's a challenge from the players, and then a decision will be made. And those calls are crucial. Mm. Uh, you can see instead of 14 11, it's 13 all. So. Sub Zelber, 14 13. Very close game. I wonder whether it really is attacking play that we want to see more of or whether we need to see that change in pace within the rally. Well, because it's kind of the same thing, I think, you know, if yeah. you can, if you can well, explode no, some more. Uh, yeah, in it, more, style. more explosive movement, because if you think of the traits of Lin Dan and Lee Chong Wei, it's not just that they can hit attacking shots, it's their 16, pace of movement to follow up on that attacking tempo shot. Shift, tempo yeah. shift, tempo yeah. shift. Because that last one from Chen Long, he, he wasn't quick enough going forward. No, exactly. And 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 um, it's not that he's not attacking. You know, that mm. I think you're you're right. I probably should have explained that better. It's more the tempo shift, and that's where you can see the Lin Dance and 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 uh, 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 Li Chung Wei, and before that it was uh, Peter Gade and and another good one doing it was uh, Tao Fik Hediat. Yeah. Uh, 17, who could kind of like play smooth and then suddenly explode. Yeah. Um, and that's, it and just gives such a surprise, such a surprise yeah. attack. And you need that nowadays to win your min singles. And Chen Long, as yet, hasn't really developed that. Fourteen, 
249 miles per hour. Oh my goodness, he's taken it. What was he thinking? <laughs> uh. That was going well wide. Yeah. 15, 17. <laughs> Almost pointing where he thought it was, should be. Chin Long shaking his arm after that smash. In fact, I noticed him shaking his arm after about the third rally. Yeah. had a couple of net shots earlier on that sat on the top of the net and fell yeah. back his side and that very very slight adjustment so that they're now going over found his touch and his feel on the net plate goodness me what a difference it makes and just as impressive there Zhang Ziming almost got that back yes so yeah. Wang Ziming sorry a very vital point. Wang has had the lead from the start. We see that often and when a player is coming up back from then then it's difficult to re refocus on being the guy that plays catch up. All level. That was getting wide too. Fantastic. That's 
That's a great smash from Wang Shiming. And he's earned himself two game point opportunities. Game point oh, perfection. 18. Sliced across the feathers. Sacrificing power for placement. Game point. opportunity that was a very loose block from Chen Long and Wang Xiaoming will be very very disappointed yeah, he didn't should convert have done, there should have done better with that champion 21 19 confirms the umpire Hakim Fosto 25 minutes and their confirmation 21 19 and if Chen Long wants to retain his title and win his third China Open title his fourth consecutive final he's going to have to do it the hard way yeah and there was worrying signs there the last couple of rallies he, uh, when he came back up he was attacking quite a lot in lung and he, then from there on decided to be uh, in defense most of the time well that could be a sign of him not feeling it in his elbow that he doesn't want to attack we have to see Second game. Now. better start because he was behind all the way in the opening game was Chen Long caught back up level a couple of times but never got into the lead
Oh my goodness. Take the net. I think whoever control, controls the front court will win this match. Oh, oh. goodness me. What on earth? Four, two. Oh, that's a mistake. <laughs> it's very seldom you see that from these players. Now maybe Wang is feeling the pressure. Was it the first time that he's taken a game? No, I mentioned that first time that they ever played against each other at the Asian Championships. It went to three games, okay. so only once. That's a long time ago. Yeah, 2011. Two and a half years ago. Counter-attack. Three, six. Still keep shaking that right arm of his, does Chen Long. Yeah. Well, these two men, both former world junior Five, champions, eight. Chen Long in 2007 and Wang Xiaoming a year later. And they've been promising so much for so long, haven't they? I suppose Chen Long, to a degree, has fulfilled yeah. a lot of that potential, but it's only been this year 
that Wang Jiaming has won his first ever title. That was the Swiss Grand Prix, and then his first ever Super Series title, China Masters. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, you can see Chen Long, as, as I said, he's been up there. Um, he's been having to battle with uh, Lin Dan and Taufik and Li Cheng Wei. Can't really see the same for, for Wang Chiming. see him play more aggressively and he certainly did in the first half of that of this second game. Yeah. Playing with a more of an urgency. Fantastic. Look at that body position and how much power he can generate. And that's for the slice. that front court will win this match. Chin Long in this set has been has forced himself to stay away more up court, closer to the net. He's controlling things. Of course he knows that Wang Jimin is on the drift side. Here we see it again. So Wang can't really use the back court. Well, he can but it's difficult. And learn playing the tactic to perfection. game I don't want to get up in front of myself but I just sense yeah. a shift in momentum yeah and it, it looks like Wang is having a little bit problem playing on the side with the drift doesn't really suit his game a little bit too loose in his style I think he 
needs to work much harder. So you can't lift like that. Just then. No. Just see. Yeah. Yeah, his whole movement changed wrong in the second 16. game. You know, it's... He's very aware of what happens on yes. the front court. Yeah, much, much quicker, much more alert in general. Nice. Again, standing way up. On the call closer to the net. Look, he doesn't really move that far back. So he can take the shuttle as high as possible. Force it down on the back. Wong to Ming. Oh, it's a great shot. 18, 8. contrast in this second game to the first. Oh no, it's Wang Xiaoming who can't find a net shot. Two points away from the second game. Points have arrived. Game eight. First time of asking. Twenty-one eights. One day more in the men's singles final. Forty-two minutes. champion has bounced back as a defending champion should. One game all in the singles final.
20 seconds, 20 seconds. Oh, both players retying their shoelaces. Getting ready. <laughs> well, it should be an interesting third and deciding game. But of course, game. as we all know in sports, momentum is a huge part of it. So if you go Thanks. on that theory, then Chen Long, the defending champion, having raced through that second game 21-8, should, in theory, have the advantage. But sport doesn't always work like that, does it? No. Spin, no. Mm. <laughs> no good if it doesn't go over. No, that's true. But he's aware of that. He needs yeah. to keep the attack. And well, he he saw how Jin Lang did it in the second set. Mm, it's landed in. So it's over. Two, yeah. one. That's the drift, isn't it? It's the drift, and of course he just came from the other side where exactly that shot would have gone out. Now the drift drags it in. Just need a few rallies to get used to that. And wide. So just just to explain, so it's not just the flight of the shuffle more. that a player looks at to decide whether to hit it or not. It's also you respond to how your opponent has hit a shot. Yeah. You know sometimes from the way they've hit it that it's going to go long. So yep. it's not just following the flight of the shuttle. And it's become, you know, one of the most uh, important things in, in badminton today to be able to play with a drift. Um, Three, two. I know from from Denmark, and they almost every day train like there should be a drift because they know that's just a part of the game that. When you're in an arena where there's drift, you can't play. Uh, just normally, you have to do certain things. That time the judgment and sound, that was long. And just to Four, sort of explain two. that point a little bit more, in my day, I'm not sure about your day, because you're a bit younger than me, but we used to play in the heat, hot and hot, humid conditions of Jakarta, Malaysia, Thailand, places like that, with no air conditioning. Whereas nowadays, there's most aircon. there's aircon on. So even if you're playing in hot climates, there's aircon on. Five, in fact, here two. we thought that there was heating on because it's quite cold in Shanghai it's, it's at the moment. Yeah, yeah. And we thought that when we arrived at the stadium today, there was some heating on and some blowers. So of course, in ev virtually every, every stadium around the world, it's not just the natural air current of, of that moves the shuttle. There's blowers going as well exactly. with, with air con or heating. Yeah. Yeah, and, and and anybody who's you know, everybody who has been playing Babington or knows about Babington, can you say, you know, we have always said to us, ah no, we should try and play outdoor. <laughs> <laughs> There's no wind today. Uh, no, uh, we won't go that far. No. We won't go but but it's it's kind of the same uh, mm. thing that it, it just takes a little bit of drift that affects a lot. Yeah. On the shuttle. Well, you talked about momentum. Looks like Chin Long is keeping it.
this this is this is gonna be disappointing for Wang. Mm. You know? We're looking good after the first set and not really working for it. As you see, I th think we see a bandage on, on Wang's right leg. He's been looking at that sometimes, a few times now, so. There's a hamstring or a quad muscle. Well, his whole body language to me, Wang Shiming shouts out I've missed my chance yeah and he's on the good side now yeah so yeah. it won't be easier when they change the side and he looks disappointed with himself and as you said yesterday Chen Long from a lead yeah, he's a good front runner yeah it's not an easy yeah well this is nine and straight points two. he was one two down no he's ten two up Not a good sign for Wang. From winning. Twenty-one nineteen in the first is only one eleven points. Yeah. That's not enough if you want to be a top top class player. No. So no, placement on the smash. He has hit one at two fifty one. So certainly not his most powerful. towards the sideline after he played this winning smash because I'm convinced that the lift was going wide and I think he just needed to get his spatial awareness again look back towards the line as if to say to himself need I have played that smash it's a marvelous smash and I suppose if you're in doubt <laughs> gotta hit it theory that he was beating up on himself and saying <laughs> I've missed my chance. Yeah. But also Tin Long making some different decisions now when you think about him having that lead. Yeah, nice. A bit of decision. Yeah. <laughs> Five point advantage as they change ends in this third and deciding game. Defending champion. Now looking much, much more positive. Seconds, 
Eleven, six, play. Twelve, six. Yes, and psychologically, I don't think Wang Jiming knowing that he didn't do terribly well from this near side of the court in the second game. He really has got both physical and mental uphill battle now. Round for somebody to appeal to. <laughs> There's that's nothing no, to appeal there. <laughs> no, that's way long. <laughs> That emphasises the point that you and I were making earlier about that explosive power to finish off the rally. Yeah, and then maybe the skills to be able to do something yeah. from up there. Yeah. His fastest, two forty-five. So, so far, eight forty. understand where Wang Zheming is going to win, win the points from now he's 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 running out of ideas isn't totally he? Yeah. Uh, and he's not willing to put in the work to to to, mm. to, to have the chance to to win the points are from the side where he's standing he needs to be attacking way more you see he's playing too loose and you see that leg again maybe that's the reason so just after he loses this point you can see him just Bending his legs like, you know, we didn't get to see that. But there's definitely something with the hamstring there. Yeah. But he just doesn't have... 17, 8. He just doesn't have this style where you can say, okay, he's gonna... Now he's gonna explode, you know? Uh, mm. He's gonna do something different, attack, go all out. It's not his style, so it's difficult for him to yeah. to come back. It's going wide. He's going to so depend on Chin Long's mistake, or, or Chin Long Nine suddenly 17. playing too slow. Or and that won't happen. Oh. 
Springs gone in the racket. He played the winner. Yeah, 17. wants to test the new racket. That's in. <laughs> oh, well, Chen Long is recovering from out of position. Quite frankly, is almost second to none. But that was summary from Shang Jimin. Um, yeah. Some of the. He should have done that way, uh, way before time. It's too late now. Mm. The lick power of Chen Long. Able to get himself out of trouble, keep himself in balance. Just extraordinary. Brilliant. Great reactions. Well, the match clock ticks over the hour mark. And he's just two points away from his second consecutive title what would be his third China Open title Patrick Not surprised, Wang Xiaming is surprised 12. by the call. Now nah, he wants to see it on the screen. <laughs> well, yeah. won't be long. Yeah. Match point opportunities for Chen Long. match points have come and gone. Still six more opportunities for Chen Long. Oh, a lovely way to retain his title. His third in all here at the China Open. First won this title back in 2010, won it last year and retained his title this. Four consecutive finals at the China Open and his third title and winning it in style. This the final rally.
great reactions and a great example of the leg power to be able to crouch down low, still keep balance and still be able to play the winning shot. Their confirmation, 19-21, 21-8, 21-14 in the deciding game in an hour and three minutes. So there you can see four of our five finals completed and the last three finals that we've witnessed. The players have retained their titles that they won last year. Just mixed doubles to come, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, now we are going to present awards to honorable judges of 2013 Liquid China Open Ocean BWF World Super Series Premier. Let's welcome the referees. Well, before the presentation of the men's singles, there's a presentation to our tournament officials. The tournament referee, Mr. Mouimer of the Czech Republic, deputy referee, Greta Prince of South Africa. Mr. Li Yongbo, Deputy Director of Table Tennis and Badminton Administrative Centre, Center, and of course, Vice President of the Chinese Badminton Association, presenting the awards. Two local deputy referees have overseen this tournament along with the two appointed by the BWF, the Badminton World Federation. Chief Scheduling Good,各位嘉宾,观众朋友们,中国羽毛球公开赛已经在上海浦东连续承办了六年,这六年来,上海金浦文化体育发展有限公司对赛事的全力支持得到了各界的认可,中国羽毛球协会为表示感谢,特
接下来，让我们用热烈的掌声，请出国家体育总局乒羽中心副主任、中国羽毛球协会副主席、赛事组委会执行主任李永波先生，为上海金浦文化体育发展有限公司总经理、上海市羽毛球协会副主席倪根和先生颁发纪念牌。请各位嘉宾合影留念。嘉宾、观众朋友们，维克多二零一三中国羽毛球公开赛奥胜世界羽联超级系列赛顶级赛金浦杯男子单打颁奖仪式现在开始。The two men singles finalists, same as 12 months ago, and as with 12 months ago, it is Chen Long who ends up as champion. This man, Wang Xiaoming, for a second consecutive year, has to settle for second best. Chen Long. Winning his fourth title of the year, his third Premier Super Series event of the year to go with the All England and the Denmark Super Series. to make his presentation to the beaten finalist Wang Jiming. He was obviously saying something about his elbow. Yeah, they're deep in conversation now. And it's time for that later on, young man. A fourth title of the year in only nine tournaments played. That's not a bad record for Chen Wong. His second consecutive China Open title. Third in total.
好，再次感谢颁奖嘉宾与获奖运动员。男子单打颁奖仪式到此结束，请颁奖嘉宾与获奖运动员退场。Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the award ceremony for men singles. So to our fifth and last final of the afternoon here at the 2013 Victor China Open. It's mixed doubles. It's the Olympic bronze medalist from Denmark up against the world champions from Indonesia. Now, of course, when you look at the draw there, I suppose the big news is the Olympic champions giving a walk over to the Danes in the semi-final and the Olympic